front door opened slowly. Saber peered out, looking very old in the light and very fragile and very much afraid. The old man looked as if he'd not been out of the house in years. He and the white plaster walls inside were much the same. There was white in the flesh of his mouth and his cheeks, and his hair was white, and his eyes had faded with white and the vague blueness there. Then his eyes touched on the book under Montag's arm, and he did not look so old anymore, and not quite as fragile. Slowly his fear went. I'm sorry, one has to be careful. He looked at the book under Montag's arm and could not stop. So it's true. Montag stepped inside. The door shut. Sit down. Saber backed up as if he feared the book might vanish if he took his eyes from it. Behind him, the door to a bedroom stood open, and in that room, a litter of machinery and steel tools were strewn upon a desktop. Montag had only a glimpse before Faber, seeing Montag's attention diverted, turned quickly and shut the bedroom door and stood holding the knob with a trembling hand. His gaze returned unsteadily to Montag, who was now seated with the book in his lap. The book. Where did you... I stole it. Faber, for the first time, raised his eyes and looked directly into Montag's face. You're brave. No, said Montag. My wife's dying. A friend of mine's already dead. Someone who may have been a friend was burnt less than 24 hours ago. You're the only one I knew might help me. To see. To see. Faber's hands itched on his knees. May I? Sorry, Montag gave him the book. It's been a long time. I'm not a religious man, but it's been a long time. Faber turned the pages, stopping here and there to read. It's as good as I remember. Lord, how they've changed it in our parlors these days. Christ is one of the family now. I often wonder if God recognizes his own son the way we've dressed him up. Or is it dressed him down? He's a regular peppermint stick now, all sugar crystal and saccharin, when he isn't making veiled references to certain commercial products that every worshiper absolutely needs. Faber sniffed the book. Do you know that books smell like nutmeg or some spice from a foreign land? I loved to smell them when I was a boy. Lord, there were a lot of lovely books once before we let them go. Faber turned the pages. Mr. Montag, you are looking at a coward. I saw the way things were going a long time back. I said nothing. I'm one of the innocents who could have spoken up and out when no one would listen to the guilty, but I did not speak and thus became guilty myself. And when finally they set the structure to burn the books using the firemen, I grunted a few times and subsided, for there were no others grunting or yelling with me by then. Now it's too late. Faber closed the Bible. Well, suppose you tell me why you came here. 